me, 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 we have audio. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about the teleconverter for the Fuji X100V that makes it more of a 28 millimeter versus the 35. The WCLX100S, and this is the Mark II. There was a Mark I version, but I guess they added some magnets to this one. Magnets, oh! And I'll explain why that's important in a little bit. But the point of this video essentially is to uh, try and convince you that this might be a good idea for you to pick up if you have an X100, and why I think uh, it's good for some things, but not all things. Much like life, you know? Some things are good for all things, and some things are good for one thing, and some things just suck across the board. So let's talk about this thing uh, in particular. The unboxing experience was uh, nothing to write home about. I will say that I was surprised by the shape and the size and the weight and just the overall finish of this little conversion lens. Um, it's not a proper lens, it's, it's more akin to like binoculars, I'd say, more than a lens itself, because it, it's not actually replacing the lens on my X100V, it's rather bending and shaping the light in a way to make it a wider angle of view, which is a lot closer to a 28 millimeter. Back when I was uh, shooting mostly Nikon, I had uh, a 28 1.8, and it was probably my favorite lens for capturing things like getting ready on wedding days, for commercial shoots where I need to get up and close and personal to someone's business. That sounds aggressive, but if I'm doing product things or I'm doing some environmental portraits, I really found the 28 to be my favorite. It really made the viewer and the, the end photographs look like you were actually in it and you could reach out and touch it. I took it out to a few weddings. I took it out to a few commercial shoots. Um, just to try and test and see if it was any good and worth keeping or maybe I send it back to the camera store and sell it. So if you're brand new, I'm gonna just read through a bunch of the copy I wrote um, defining what it is and how it works. Because it's good to have a baseline. The WCL X100S II is designed specifically for the X100 series by Fujifilm, providing a wider perspective to your shots. It offers a 0.8 times magnification, converting the X100 lens focal length from 35 millimeters to 28 millimeters. With this wider field of view, you can capture more of the scene, making it perfect for landscapes, architecture, group shots, and street photography. It maintains the superior image quality of the X100 lens, ensuring sharpness, clarity, and accurate colors throughout your images. Chromatic aberrations and distortions are well controlled, resulting in images with minimal optical flaws. Which was something that was very surprising to me. I thought if I'm gonna slap some kind of magnifying and light warping filter, essentially is what this is, I thought for sure there'd be some kind of weirdness in the corners, but through and through, like, it looks great. No complaints. One of the standout features of the X100 series is its compactness and the WCL X100 S2 complements it perfectly. I will say it gives it a bit more of a nose, which I don't love, but I guess that's kind of the trade-off. Even though I like having something a bit more slim and form factor, I know I've talked about this in previous videos. Oh, it's really hot, give me a second. Whoa! There we go. Just knocking things over, making a mess. My nipples are showing. It's a mustard stain. Where was I? It's not as compact as I would prefer, but it's got a nice balance to it, especially when you're shooting portrait. It's got a really nice weight. And the fact that it's made of premium metals and materials just makes it feel like it's always been there. It's like a cohesive, consistent thing that I'm happy with. There is a magnet in this one, which automatically triggers a sensor within the camera body itself and recognizes that you're using this teleconverter adapter. And so you don't have to worry about digging through menus to find out where this, this setting is to convert it to a wide. It just knows, it's intuitive, it's smart, and that's just way easier for me, especially if I'm out in the world. I can just pull this converter out of my bag, screw it on, and the camera intuitively knows that it's a 28 versus a 35. I've used this lens three times uh, on professional shoots to kind of gauge whether I think it's something I would want to carry forward. So I took it to a wedding day and I used it a little bit during the ceremony. I don't think it's something I would bring again um, as anything other than a backup because the colors and just the overall look of the images, very different from what I'm used to and what I deliver on my Canon cameras. It would just be way too much editing, not worth my time. If you are a Fuji shooter for weddings, fantastic, congratulations. Maybe it's your dedicated black and white camera. And that's fantastic. You just have it and it's just for taking black and whites and it's 28 millimeter and you get that wider angle of view. And I think that's a really good way to look at this lens. It's an idea at least. I also took it to a commercial shoot where I photographed some real estate. Uh, I work with a developer in town for all of their new builds. And while the 28 is wide, it's not as wide as my 16 mil on my Canon system. 
For that shoot in particular, I was capturing the entire space as much as I possibly could using a 16 millimeter, and the 28 was just a bit too narrow of focus. It'd be really good in instances where we're capturing final details of a space or details of a set, things like that, but I think for the purposes of capturing kind of the wider angle of view, 28 just doesn't cut it for me. And lastly, I pulled it out during a shoot for a friend who imports and customizes rims, and I really liked it for that. It's something I've done before in the past for commercial lifestyle and um, environmental portraits, and I thought the 28 worked really well compared to the 35. I really liked how close I could get to all the product. I could frame him in interesting ways, and also having a lot of foreground. Having that extra distance between subject and lens really brought me into the scene and reminded me of some of the older shoots I've done using the Nikon 28mm 1.8. So I think it's versatile enough where you're doing more environmental style portraits. I think for weddings, make it your dedicated black and white camera. That's just my advice, that's just an idea. For real estate stuff, keep it as a backup, but don't rely on it for anything other than, um, you know, a backup. So those are my thoughts on the WCL X100S Mark II. I think it's fantastic. For street photography, I think it's great to have in your bag if you have the space, if you have the space in your budget, if you have the space in your heart, welcome a 28 millimeter teleconverter onto your X100V, I'd say go for it. But again, this is not for everyone, you know? Just decide what works for you. You won't be sad about it. You'll be happy. I'm happy. Jose, are you happy? Thank you so much for sticking around, commenting, liking, and subscribing to this channel. I put a video out like maybe once a week. And these Fuji ones seem to be the ones that people seem to enjoy the most. This is my dog, Jose, and I will see you next week in the next one.